Hello, beautiful soul. I hope you're having an absolutely incredible day. I wanted to share with you something that has been on my mind. And uh, because it keeps popping up, I wanted to share it with you. Today, I was talking with one of my friends who knows me for many, many years when I moved here in the United States. And when I met her, we were both working out at the gym. And I got to say, like, we were the biggest badasses there. It was a woman's gym. And it felt like we were competing with each other, you know, like this healthy competition, like, oh, look at her. She's doing burpees. Let me know a jumping jack. Let me, you know, add more weight. So it was like kind of healthy competition. And in the end, I just couldn't resist. And I woke up to her and um, I'm like, hey, so I've seen you here often. Are you training for competition? Because you look very serious. And she was like, no, I just like staying healthy. So anyways, we start to talk and um, we became friends because she is from Europe, I'm from Europe, different countries, but I think I'm just a little bit biased. I think that we just att- like are more attracted to things that are known to us. And um, even though we don't see each other very often, she moved off from Vegas, now she's back. She messaged me today on Instagram and we were talking and as we were just talking like, hey, what are the updates on your life? What are you working on? She told me, I wish I could live my life twice. And it's just like staying me, you know, and and I was wondering like if we could live our life twice, would we do anything differently? And can we start living it now? Because if you are, you know, living and breathing and you can move and you are here, you can still do things differently. And for me, I don't believe like I have um, regrets in my life. I believe that all of the things that happen in my life, even if they hurt me, even if they broke my heart, they were an incredible blessing. And for those who know me know that I don't like using lesson. I'm like, don't lecture me. Don't tell me what to do. But I think that everything in our lives, it's really a blessing because it always moves us. It either moves us deeper into the knowing, remembering who we truly are and what we stand for, or it moves us to the next level, to the next step. It just gives us the clarity and the confidence. So I know that all of the things that happened in my life were blessings. And when we met with this friend, I was doing fitness competitions. I was married. I was in toxic marriage with narcissists. And I like... I was still struggling very deeply with my eating disorder and my confidence on the inside was below zero. Like people would look at me on the outside and they would think like how great life I have and how good I look. And deep, deep inside, I was just miserable because I was feeling that first of all, I'm fraud. I cannot share with anyone how am I feeling that I'm feeling empty inside and that emptiness I'm stuffing with overworking out, spending money on things that I really don't need and on other people. So it was a time of my life of a big changes. So when she messaged me today, how proud she is of my journey and how incredible life I have built, it really meant the world to me because it's a person who is not my daily close friend, but who can really see the progress. And I want to end this episode with a question for you. If you could live a second time, what would you do differently? Let me know, take a screenshot of this episode and let me know, share it on the Instagram stories, tag me at Petya Kolibova and let me know if I could live my life again, this is what I would do. Or if I could live my life again, I would. I would love to hear from you. And I'm really super grateful for you, not just for listening to me and investing this time in me. I know you could be doing a million other things. So I really appreciate you and your time. And 
even though I might be sitting here alone in front of my computer and mic, I know you are there. I know you're listening. And I know that sometimes the messages that we are hearing are the messages that we really need to hear in that day, in that moment, and that it can change everything. So I really appreciate you for also showing up for yourself, sister, because you are so worth it. I love you and I'm excited to hear from you how you would live your life if you would have a second chance.